Hello my friends, William Poloniak here at Whole Health Foundation. Today I'm making a juice with mostly cucumbers. My garden is overflowing with cucumbers and today I have 14 large cucumbers to make my juice and a number of greens. Let's take a look at my ingredients. Now as you can see I have some kale here from two plants, one celery plant, as I said, 14 cucumbers, two bell peppers, some small cherry tomatoes, French sorrel, my favorite green, carrots of course, 170 grams of ginger, one whole garlic uh, head, and 185 grams of turmeric. I want to point out that I'm using a whole health foundation improved model juicer. I have on the bottom a solid bottom base plate that has a lifetime warranty. This enables you to make 10% more juice because you can leave the press up as long as you want. I'm using the near zero blowback cutter that has over 80 teeth and that shreds vegetables 4 degrees cooler. I'm also using the front loading feed tube that is an exclusive invention of Whole Health Foundation and it eliminates blowback up to your ceiling 100%. You will never get blowback up to your ceiling. So let's install the cutter. Now this cucumber looks pretty good so I'm going to cut it in half and also split it in half so that it fits in the feed tube. some bell pepper. We have two bell peppers in the garden so we picked them and we'll juice them today. We'll start with the kale. The motor's working hard so I'm going to clean the grid. Clean the grid often. Now I also notice that I'm using the number two grid for greens, so I'm going to switch to the J grid, which has larger holes and it's better for greens. More curly leaf kale. More kale. Now here's the last of my greens. We're up to over 30, so we'll follow that by some ice cubes and then we'll start with carrots. Now after my first two carrots, I'm going to clean the grid and switch to the number two grid, which is best for carrots. Now I also notice that I'm full of greens so what I'm going to do is transfer some of this into a um, collection bowl so there's more room for carrots. Now we'll continue with carrots until we're done. of my carrots. Now my next to the last step is to clean the feed tube, the grid, the cutter, mix the produce and make some juice. So we'll get a longer knife here and clean out the feed tube. Get any pulp that's on the cutter off. And then clean any pulp in the feed tube out. We've got a lot of cucumbers in here. In fact, we had to use half the cucumbers because the cucumber pulp filled the bowl almost to the top. And rotate in both directions. Close the claws out the freezer, crack the ice on the edge of the table. And um, 
I had one cloth burst, so I had to get a new cloth last time. So we'll unfold these. All right, we're going to take these six cloths, leave enough room here for the folded cloths, and I want to point out that as long as there's carrots in the mix, you don't need a bamboo lighter. Now put your tray in, and if it's stretched at the sides, put it in at an angle. And put three scoops in each cloth. I'm going to set this aside and press two cloths at one time because you get better pressure that way. my six cloth less work method. This goes forward, that goes over. The spent cloths go on top here. Two more cloths in the press. Center left to right, center front to back, adjust if need be, all the way back, back it off. Now I'm going to take this extra pulp, pour it in here and mix it. Now because we're almost full, we're going to put these cloths over here, set this back, not a little, but a lot. You want it to be very, very obvious. And now we'll fill some bottles. Now I'm going to fill to about 10% from the top, and I'm going to put in some distilled or filtered water later. And I'm going to fill these from the back side just so the camera gets a good look. Pull the tray forward, put on two more cloths, and continue packaging cloths until we're done. This goes all the way back, back it off a little bit. Now the reason we back it off a little is we don't want this to slip. And we'll continue by putting two scoops on top of the old pulp. You never throw away your pulp. Now when you have a very liquid mix like this with a lot of cucumber in it, it's a good idea to take the already pressed pulp and put it in here and crush it to absorb all that liquid. So let's do that now. Now my friends, we're done pressing all the uh, cloths full of pulp and these are the spent uh, cloths. Instead of throwing this away, which most people would do, I'm going to demonstrate how you can get 10% more juice and more micronutrients. So what you do is you Form this into a tight ball, like so, and I'm using a special folding technique where I'm folding this under two or three or four times, as many times as you can, and we'll do that in both directions, and then we'll press it, and we're going to use a measuring beaker to show how much extra juice we can get. So let's continue repackaging all of this pulp. Now as you can see I've repackaged all of the spent pulp. Now I remind you, this is pulp that most people would throw away. And they throw it away because nobody tells them, like I'm telling you, there's more juice in there. And not only more juice, but better quality juice because you're getting all of the micronutrients that you're pressing out. So let's put two cloths at a time into the press. Before we do anything, we have 16 and a half ounces here. I'm going to pour that into the collection bowl and we'll put two more packets, flatten them first and put them in the tray in the press. Very important to be in the center, centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back, back it off. Now I'm topping these bottles off with either filtered or distilled water. If your water is pure in your community, you can use tap water or bottled water. Now my friends, as you can see from this juicing session, we got 5, 10, 15, 20 bottles of juice, enough for a taste test. And remember that two of these bottles came from pressing the pulp that most people would throw away. Well my friends, here we have another juice, this with a lot of cucumbers, some kale, um, what else was in there, some celery, carrots of course, and uh, a couple of bell peppers. Let's give it a taste. Oh, very, very sweet juice. I can taste the celery, definitely, and the French sorrel. Well, I hope you like what you've seen, my friends, and if you did, please tell a friend. 
If you'd like to contact me by phone, my number is 760-753-0321. The best time is afternoons or evenings. My webpage is wholehealthon.com and my um, email address is developtrust.cox.net. I'll see you in the next video.